Hey, good evening, everybody. Welcome to our showcase concert tonight. We've got a lot of exciting music to share with you. Uh, in, in particular, I wanted to point out a couple of exciting things that have happened since the last time we met. So uh, the first thing is that uh, Chamber Choir uh, qualified for state and will be singing in state competition at the end of this month. So give it up for Chamber Choir. <laughs> Symphonic Choir went off to Oregon City and uh, participated in a festival uh, with other uh, uh, choirs uh, from around our league and uh, got incredibly uh, positive comments. It was not a graded, you know, we did get a score, but we got comments, and they got some really, really exciting and positive comments uh, from the adjudicators for the, the successful singing that they were doing. So kudos to them. So give it up for some time. to the George Fox University uh, Choral Festival, and there they qualified for state competition, uh, which also is super exciting, so give it up for Concert Choir. <laughs> their, their performance tonight will actually be a dress rehearsal for their uh, league competition that they have next Tuesday morning at Lake Oswego High School, also competing against the other members of uh, the Three Rivers League. And so you will see them actually, uh, we're going to, to run it exactly like it was uh, that we were at uh, Lake Oswego and participating in that event. Um, then we also had two soloists who have uh, qualified for state competition that will be singing with us tonight in state solo competition. Uh, they are uh, Eli um, Abuzaid and Janae Osby. So give it up for them. qualifying scores, uh, but have at this point not yet been uh, selected, and so we're, we're waiting to hear whether they're going to be selected or not, and that's Nora Peterson and Ben Edwards. So give it up for them. Some of you might remember, in January, we might have had a storm of some consequence. And at our school, it was a devastating uh, consequence, and that was that we have, right off the stage here, we have the piano storage locker, and that locker is a very secure room, and the beauty of it is that when um, the door is down, everything stays inside. And so when the pipe burst, It became a swimming pool for our seven-foot grand piano, and it literally was drowned in, in, uh, in water, and it was completely destroyed along with the upright that was also in that room. And I, I can tell you that I have never felt so heartsick in my life as when I came to school and found out that that was what happened. It literally was unplayable. And we had classic pianos uh, in Portland come out and do an assessment of it, and they said, it is done. It is gone. It is no more. And thank goodness our district holds a wonderful insurance policy. And I don't know how we got so lucky, but the wheels turned, and this never happens with insurance, and many of you know this. The wheels turned so fast that from the moment of discovery until the moment our brand new seven foot Yamaha Grand arrived was 24 days. So, wow. boom! <laughs> Not a dime was spent by the Tiger Tualatin School District nor by the Tigard High School, nobody, insurance covered the entire footing of the bill, which included this and a brand new upright, all worth at retail value $93,000. Oh. 
and we got the whole package for 64 and we didn't pay a dime. So. So yeah, that was a moment of sublime triumph. Because uh, they're literally, the anticipation was that for this concert we were going to have to rent a piano in order. In fact, we might have been renting a piano for the next year uh, because you know how insurance companies can be. So this is a, a testimony to a lot of wonderful people at the district office who put the screws on the right people and we got things moving and uh, classic pianos, if you ever need a piano, go to classic pianos. They were astounding. Uh, we were required to get three bids and they, they came in $15,000 under the, the, the cheapest bid uh, that we could possibly get. And we're literally, it's the same piano we have. It's literally the Yamaha C7 that we had before is just now brand new. So, yeah, pretty exciting. All right. Where do, you get this, where do you get this party started? And so I also wanted to say thank you to Tim Gowther, who's up, up, where art thou, Tim? Right there, who's recording this, and it will be posted on our YouTube channel in a couple weeks, and so it'll be recorded for posterity. And uh, there it is. Enjoy our concert. And we welcome to the stage, Contus.
Vision, uh, singing Nina, Eli Abzai.
okay, that's all right. Yeah. You know, it's just really amazing to see the artistry that uh, all of our students are able to produce. And I'm just really proud of Eli and Janae uh, for uh, getting to the point that they can represent. You can notice that they are private students. Um, Eli studies with Aaron McCarthy, and Janae uh, studies with Karen Mallory, and uh, they're just doing great work there. So, really proud of them. And they also have a companion piece that they have to sing, so they're singing actually two pieces. They're supposed to sing a piece uh, in two different languages and in two different tempos. And so, um, we just have them sing one from each of their set. So now, we'd like to uh, invite uh, up uh, Jim Court, come on up.
king cried, Oh, Daniel, Daniel, oh, Daniel, Daniel, oh, not a Hebrew Daniel, servant of the Lord.
we are Tigard High School Concert Choir under the direction of Mr. Robert Hawthorne, and our collaborative pianist is Dr. Evan Paul. The set you will hear this evening is composed entirely by female composers. The first composer we celebrate is Chen Yi. Born and trained in China, her fingering song is a delightful arrangement of a children's song talking about playing the drum and gong. In fact, they declare it is the only song they know how to sing. Our second composer is Karen Thomas of Seattle. We celebrate her setting of the Prayer of the Black Elk, written by Nicholas Black Elk, the Galala Soy Musica. Karen, a member of the LGBTQ plus community, is the artistic director of the Seattle Musica. Our third piece is by Italian Renaissance composer Madalena Casulana. We celebrate her as the first woman ever published. Morir non pool tells a sad story of unrequited love. Our fourth composer is a South African composer, Charlotte Bota, and in her exuberant setting of the Ising Mosa love song, Ndandaleli uses dental clicks, as in as a sound most would replicate as saying tisk, and ululations, and our djembe player is Jose, Sal Jose Salas. We conclude our program with the majestic song Measure Me Sky, composed by Elaine Hakenberg. Setting by this poem, uh, setting by Lenore Speyer. Um, oh Alright, this is not going to happen next week, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we conclude our program with the majestic song Measure Me Sky by Elaine Hakenberg. The, uh, the setting by the poet Lenore Speyer uh, draws inspiration, <coughs> expresses hope as it draws inspiration for the beauty of the natural world. We hope you enjoy our program.
So I just want to thank you all so much for coming. Uh, we look forward to seeing you at the spring concert. We're going to close with this Measure Me Sky. The, the text is this, Measure Me Sky. Tell me I reach by a song nearer the stars. I have been little so long. Horizon, reach out. Catch at my hands, stretch me taut. Rim of the world, widen my eyes by a thought. Sky be my depth, wind be my width and my height. World my heart span, loveliness, wings for my flight. We hope you enjoy it.
Dr. Paul is such an integral part of it. It's just an incredibly stunning uh, piece of music written by Elaine Hagbert. Thank you so much for coming. We hope you enjoy the evening and we look forward to seeing you at the next concert. Good night.